Agriculture is the main driver of deforestation in sub-Saharan Africa. While shifting cultivation by small-scale farmers remains an important cause of tree cover loss, more and more smallholders are producing cash crops to meet rising domestic and global demand for commodities like sugar, chocolate and coffee. In southeast Ghana, for example, farmers rely on oil palm cultivation to serve the domestic and regional demand for cooking oil, cocoa for export to northern markets and rubber for export to emerging economies. And while growing opportunities in these markets is certainly good news, the unchecked expansion of such cash crops puts increased pressure on often on reserve forests, which provide important ecosystem services to the people of Ghana. How can Ghana protect its forests while ensuring that farmers benefit more from a booming agricultural sector? New and innovative approaches are emerging to advance agricultural development and sustainable landscapes. This is why C4, through the Governing Multifunctional Landscapes in Sub-Saharan Africa GML, project, supported by the European Union, is working with local actors to identify and test pathways to increase production and inclusion of smallholder farmers while protecting and restoring forest resources. By bringing together all stakeholders, such as private sector, government, customary leaders, civil society, financial institutions, and farmers, the project uses collaborative approaches to design a landscape development strategy, forge new partnerships, and promote collective learning and understanding. This will ensure that commodities are a driver for development in Ghana, not deforestation.